What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here and I hope you guys are doing great. All right, so I got a few updates that I want to show you guys, uh, tell you guys what I've been up to. Uh, basically, there's going to be some people coming into this house, so I have to hide everything before they come. So before I hide everything, I just wanted to make a quick little video. Basically, here we have the Floridian grass lovers here, okay? And we got the casing on. They've been The casing's been on for a couple of days, keeping it very moist. They almost like it. They really, really like it moist. Look at this, guys. If you guys can see that, it's actually sort of muddy. That's how you want it. They, they really can handle the moisture. When the fruits come up, you just miss the crap out of them, an amount that you would never do with core lovers. These guys love it. But uh, hopefully we should be getting some Primordia coming in in a couple of days. Basically, these guys are doing good. This casing was made from the same casing that contamined on the pool lovers. Now, but these guys have not contamined at all, whereas the pool lovers contamined around day two as soon as I put the casing. So I don't know what's going on, guys. I think that maybe the spawn was dirty, even though the spawn looked beautiful. It felt beautiful. It broke up easy. There was no indication, like after I break it up, it would recolonize. There was no indication that it was bacterial in any way. But then again, hidden contams are a thing, especially when you, you know, like you might get, you might get away spawning it to core with like a dirty jar. For example, let's say it's bacterial. You might be able to get a few flushes by spawning it to core, but definitely dung. Uh, there's something about it, extra nutrition, the extra microbes and things that are in there that it interacts with. It's very strange though. I'm going to do it again. But you know, the thing is like, what really sucks is I don't know what it, what exactly happened, right? So I'm just sort of like, okay, so I, what can I really fix? So anyways, for the time being, I spawned, I made three more jars of the pool lovers, so they're colonizing. So they are doing all right. And what I forgot to add here is what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take one or two of these jars and I'm going to make, I'm going to spawn to bulk a bunch of them into little half pint jars like PF cakes and fruit them like the poo cakes. So that way I have multiple grows that can potentially fruit. And if I, if one or two or whatever contams, hopefully I'll have a couple that don't and I could get it to fruiting. But it's going to take some time, unfortunately. You know, so like, for example, uh, poo substrates, right? Poo substrates are actually more stable if you actually mix it with straw. Rather than doing only straw or only poo, there's actually beneficial microbes and bacteria in both of them that sort of even each other out in terms of contamination. Although, you know, you could totally do poo. Like, like there shouldn't be any problems. Hopefully I can get it worked out soon. It's like something really just doesn't want me growing poo lovers. Uh, but you know what? Easy come, easy go. So now moving on, I'm going to show you guys how the poo cakes are colonizing. So, you know, these guys might take a while. So these guys have been colonizing for a little over a month now. Um, yeah, taking a while. You know, BRF cakes take a while because you can't shake them. So, but they've been, you know, coming along. This is the most colonized guy I have right now. Look at this, colonized all around, mostly all around with the exception of this part. But look at the bottom guys, it's going. All doing fantastic. Get the idea, right? All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the main attraction here, truffles. Oh, I know many of you guys are wondering about how the truffles are doing. So these guys respond on the 27th. These uh, Floridian grass lovers, just keep them in a jar and they'll produce truffles. And as you can see, there's already a lot of truffles being produced in there. So these guys are pretty good truffle producers, I gotta say, not too bad. They could certainly be worse. So you see how, they, how this one, for example, has this white outline outside? That is a very good sign because it means that it's growing. So generally, if it's, you see like this one, this guy, this whole thing is just growing because it's all white. Here we got the white outline around it. it, means it's growing. So yeah, some of them, you see that getting bigger and bigger on the bottom there. So some of them grow bigger, some of them are small, you know, just as in life. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a lot on the walls, right? I can't really see it, but uh, there's quite a few on the walls. But the ones on the walls are a little, you know, the, one, the ones on glass in general can be a little bit misleading because it, it makes it seem like as if they're a lot bigger than they are. But for example, as you can see on this glass, it's actually quite shallow. It's quite shallow in there. But you know, they could also be very thick too. So you never know. Okay, so that's one. Here's another. They are doing great. Well, that's a big one there. Uh, yep, yeah, that's also nice. Cool. Bottom. Very nice. And finally, the last one. This one, this one is actually from a fruit clone. So yeah, look at that guy. Some really rhizomorphic stuff. Pretty cool. Wow, that's, it's producing quite a bit. Wow, that is a big one over there. So anyways, 
that's pretty much that. And guys, go and check out my new channel, Sage's Intergalactic Nightclub. It is it is awesome. It's a party in there. Okay, there's going to be some cool talk series. All my previous talk series will be on there, like Acid Talk, Species Talk, Trips That Changed My Life series, you know, all sorts of stuff. And some new stuff, I'm sure, will be there. So go check it out. I'm going to be posting there quite soon. Yeah, guys, lots of work to make these videos. So I got to... Now I got two channels, so I got to really, you know... Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but with, with this channel, I'm trying to edit a little more, make it a little more concise and to the point. And I really like the end product, but it takes a long, long time. Because before, I used to just film a video on my phone, boom, post it, you know? All the ums and all the pauses included. All my, you know, like, what you call it? deviations and in thought included but in this channel i'm just trying to really get it straight so anyways i hope you guys are enjoying this new channel to be honest i wish it was growing a little more because i'm getting like you know sometimes i'm getting like seven five views an hour across all my videos especially because i put so much work into that last channel and then it's gone and now i have to like start over even though it's not really fully starting over from zero because you guys are here you guys know me you've got the discord and stuff but either way i'm not going anywhere and i will beat this so anyways guys thanks for watching microfile sage check it out